All right, welcome back to Foundation. This is a longer episode than my previous ones, but I got a whole lot done. So let's get going. I uh, got a couple of good tips in the comments, and I really appreciate people leaving comments. And that was just because this is a rustic church doesn't mean you can't start replacing it with non rustic church parts. I'm not going to do that right now, but I'm going to show how you just bring this up and you can start just adding parts here like it wasn't a rustic church. Now, how much can this hold? 95 and it only holds 12. So really, I think I, think I just want to just quietly um, undo the... And you have to hit edit every time you delete something. It always goes back into non-edit mode. I want to just quietly remove there. Yeah, that's back to the simple little country church with the door on the side. All right, that's good. And that can hold 65 people, believe it or not. I don't know how they fit them all in there. And it gives me plus 9.8 of the splendorage. And I've got plenty of splendor. And I've unlocked everything except this because I can't unlock it because it's coming soon. Uh, somebody else asked, in the comments, what still needs to be unlocked? That would be the Kingdom. And I don't have Kingdom Splendor because to get Kingdom Splendor you need to build the forts. And uh, I need 40, all the way to 40 to unlock the Weaponsmith. Now one thing that I do differently from some other people that I've seen playing the game, and there's numerous ways to play the game, is that I'm a food horde. <laughs> Not only personally, but uh, also in the game, and I believe in having a lot of food. So I finally got berries up to 300, which is typically how I do it. Uh, we're gonna need more berries, we're gonna need more berries, and now 300. We got a thousand fish, okay? I think we got enough fish. We have 443 wheat. So what's the big plan? Well, I'm not gonna promise anything. I do wanna build a fort, I think, is in the offing. Uh, I want to do a lot of stuff, and uh, I could spend the whole episode talking about all the stuff I want to do, but I want to somehow get fish down here. I think I need to build a warehouse down here to start moving some of the fish and have more fish sales because we really don't have enough fish sales. So if I sneak a warehouse down in here... Oh, nothing ever fits the way I want it to, but I think this... Okay, you can't get in your house that way. That's the main road. Um, do I have to tear down my oaks? You know, I think I do. Uh, we got 545 bread as well, so I'm really comfortable with how much food we have. Famous last words. I'm going to stick a warehouse in here. It looks like you have access to all the sides if I kind of stick it in an angle like this. Alright, that's what I'm doing. And then that is going to be another fish house. House of fish. Do I sell fish here? I do, and you're fully stocked with 50, which means you've walked all the way up the hill to get fish. So that is much more efficient than I thought it would be. And this warehouse is almost full of fish. Um... Did I do fish here? This is the market I never sh I, I showed how I was going to start building it, but I never showed the end result. Uh, there's not much to it. I put a sign in. But you also sell fish and, and you have 48 of them. So it's true. If you're... Uh, that guy is so rude. If you really want to make sure you have enough food, just overstock the heck out of it and uh, no problem. All right, we've got a bunch of unemployed. Uh, this warehouse, did I actually ever put people in it? I did. So let's take a look at the big old list of all the workplaces. And what do we got in red? Soldiers don't care. Carpenters don't really care at the moment. I've got 128 planks and zero wood. Let's solve the wood situation this episode too by making a new area to cut down trees. Uh, yeah. I have got everything fully stocked that I want fully stocked. 
and it's time to build. Let's just make an extraction zone. And let's make the extraction zone right here. I have extraction zones all over the place, don't I? Yeah. Uh, up here is where I'm going to reforest. Because the windmills are going to go all along this area and then reforestation is going to go up in the mountains. That's exactly what I'm going to do. This is where we're going to reforest. Right? Just right around in here. That's good enough. Okay, and uh, let's leave those... Let's leave those on. This comes right about here. Let's build a reforestation hut. Not that button. A forester camp. And let's put a forester camp. Let's see. There's the entrance. We can put one right down in here. Alright. Yep. And then uh, that's going to make trees. And then we're going to put a lumber camp in too. In here. But we are not going to populate it yet. Because we don't have any lumber yet. It's going to kind of be sticking out on the ground, but that's not... Right there. Okay. And then down in here... Uh, did I ever build a lumber camp down in here? I don't think I did. No, I never did. So, let's stick a lumber camp right in here. To cut these woods down. And 361 berries. I'm never happy with the berries. Uh, we'll let the lumber kind of stock up for a while now. And we definitely need to give people jobs. And we need to expand our residential areas. So let's keep expanding. So where would we like our first fort to be? How much splendor do we need? We have absolutely zero kingdom splendor. Alright, um, this we can assign males 1117 to. I'm not going to assign anybody to this lumber camp yet. And we only have 11 flour. I am going to build another windmill. And again, this this will have to go... I think this should go right behind the warehouse. This is our whole windmill farm here. It should all be facing in generally the same direction. Kind of, sort of. I don't want to block the warehouse, though. That road is... can, can be dodged. Um, that actually looks pretty good. Right there. Okay. And they can walk around the windmill. And uh, one more. Because you can never have too many. Because bread will run out quickly as well. And we'll put one right behind the road. Kind of like right here. Okay. And yes, we have a lot of unemployed. And some of those, uh, I might just want to make builders. Let's do that. Let's make two more builders. Okay. Because I've got a lot of stuff being built. This forester camp, let me zoom in. This forester camp is done. There we go. You guys are gonna are gonna duke it out for which to forest. You really shouldn't though. I think your zone's gonna be about like this. Your zone's gonna go back in here, perhaps. I think that's gonna be pretty good. And where are we selling bread? We're selling bread in this market, and the bread is stocked to 50. We're selling bread in this market, and the bread is almost stocked to 50. Happiness is 94. One villager is lacking churchiness. This bread is stocked to 40. That's the main market. Oh my gosh. Shirts. We still have enough wool. We still have enough cloth. But we're running low on shirts. Are you telling me I have to build a tailor? You've got 49 because, I mean, it's right right in your backyard here. I, this is going to be a familiar theme. I'm going to want to build something. In this case, the fort. But I immediately get bogged down in making sure my 
good supplies are working well. No, you're sticking out in the middle of the air there. Here, like so. Yes. And we'll line you up across the road. Line you up right about there. Okay. Two more tailors. And as far as homes go, do I have any place to build homes down here? I mean, I could put, I could put a well in. There's a well here. Yeah, are you... What's your plans for the game? Well, build, build, build. Let's put a well in pretty close to the road, kind of right down in here in the oaks. Yeah, let's just... Let's give you a right here to build for now. And uh, we'll go right up to our land area. Wait. Mine. And... What else can I buy, by the way? Because we have 5,000 in cash. Um, uh, let's buy this one. And let's buy this one. And this one. 3,000 in cash. This one. This one. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't like the way these encroach. 2,000 left. This one. This one. That should do well. And you know, I was gonna, excuse me for jumping in and out there. I was gonna tear this thing down. Cause this is the new Lord's Manor. Uh, how much of the labor? I have 53 labor splendor. I needed 50 for the tax office. Um, let's see, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Scroll all the way down, edit, poof, poof. Scroll all the way down again, edit, gone, right? And this still gives plus 7.5 splendor, which means we have 52, which is more than what we need. So that's good. And this tree goes kibosh in these bushes. What's in here? Well here. And then this doesn't really. Can I move this? I can't. So I'll need to put the plant arch back somehow. Right? I'll work on that area. Don't worry about it. I'll get back to it eventually. Uh, lots of stuff is being finished. Uh, this windmill is new. Perfect. This windmill is new. Did I leave you enough room to get... Oops. Uh, yeah, you're gonna have to take a different route. Or No, actually, it looks like you're winding through here. Alright. So two more windmills. That should help completely overstock us in bread. As I am want to do. We are at 172 people. 64 serfs, 58 commoners, 50 citizens. I think the citizens are the ones that use shirts, which explains why we ran out so quick. I need tailors. We don't have people. And there's our trader guy. What's he doing? He wants to buy 10 wool, 10 cloth, common clothes, and 10 herbs. And he will be able to buy the wool only after he visits this one. So, if we see how this works, this should go to zero as soon as he visits this. He pops in there, zero. He doesn't want to buy anymore. And he's going to stand there a while, right? Ten cotton balls. How's this doing? This sells berries and fish and clothing. This needs to sell bread. This doesn't have bread. Good grief. What kind of a market is this? Uh, and bread can be gotten from right over here. So let's edit and let's put in a food stall and where should we put in a food stall? And I think that's that's good. That's right along the road. Uh, anything else? Uh, how about a bench? Uh, this is the last one here so let's put a bench right here. And a couple of barrels uh, behind the bench, like so. And maybe a fence. Mm, yeah. Oh, I don't want. I want to take that tree out though. How do you get into here anyway? Well, nobody's getting into there, so there's no path at the moment. Uh, let's just put this fence back here. I haven't used one of these fences. A little string fence. There we go. So this is an opportunity, right? 
we can kind of combine the fort with the Lord Manor. I say fort, it's officially wooden keep, but let's do the core. And, and it's, it's big, it's bold. Let's face it, it's hideous. And let's put it, let's put it out here. And let's put it right here. I can move it, I can move it. Wooden top A. Nah, wooden top B, no, wooden top C, pretty boring. Kinda like it though. Kinda like the boring top. Let's not let's not go overboard. 3.4 splendor. Uh we need a door. Door B. A little over the top. Did you see it fly up? <laughs> Whee! Alright. Uh I gotta get over it. There, there, there they go. They're going, they're going like crazy. So I can just yeah, fix it in one spot. Check it out. All right. Door C. Best bug ever. Uh, nope, door C's not doing it. It's gonna have to be door A, which is the simplest one. Right? And then we need some tra- whoa, 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 whoa. We need some training dummies. Uh, where should the training dummies go? Uh, training dummies, training dummies. Yeah, training dummies. We'll put the training dummies right here. And another one. Right here. And another one. Do these add splendor? I don't think so. Training dummies? They do not add splendor. Okay, there's some training dummies. Decorative flag. Come on. Uh, wooden gate. Uh, this used to have a bug where they couldn't get under it, but um, I don't think that's the case anymore. So, and I've I kind of made this look like part of the training apparatus. It's not really a gate. That's the thing. But let's 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 put the wooden gate right here, kind of like the entrance, and let's see if they actually use it or whether they find an excuse not to. I'll move it if they find the excuse not to. All right, and what else do we want to do? So that's 3.9 Splendor. How much is the flag worth? Plus 0.2. Mm-hmm. 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 Training dummy, decorative flag, wooden gate, doors, wooden tops. All right, so that's 3.9 Splendor. So if we look at that, uh, that will allow us to do absolutely nothing because we need 15. So I need to hide some of these things, and to do that, let's go ahead and do separate. Let's go ahead and get this building. We need 50 planks, two tools, two cloth. Go, go, go. So where else could we put a wooden keep? We do own this land right here, and this is kind of, sort of, but so is this. That's kind of sort of the last high point. I want to put a monastery in somewhere here too if I'm thinking far ahead. We start out with the wooden keep. That's what we want. All right. And we put a core down, which is going to be right here on the edge of the hill or on top of the hill. Okay. Then we open up the church. And we can immediately start construction. See how it's, it's not blocked? So we'll do the extensions. Aha, yep. And it's these extensions that are going to make the makeshift walls around here. Good old extension A. And I'm gonna turn snapping off. Stop the snapping. Right? I'm not going to make a full circle. Uh, and then... Quest complete, wooden keep. I got 10 kingdom influence, which I didn't need, and 50 little green men. Mine. The kingdom has noticed your keep and might call on you in a military campaign. I shall think about training soldiers then, because that's the only answer there is. Yet another person to bother me. Uh, extension A, and I don't know, let's end it here. I knew it. 
Uh, I'm keeping it all. Uh, I like the round tower on the end. And let's put the round tower right here. And let's make it taller, like so. Okay. And let's put another round tower on this end. And again, let me just line it up the way I want it there. I can't really see what I'm doing there. And make this taller. Alright. So we got one of these things going on. And then inside here... And let's turn snapping off. Inside here... I'm gonna stick, so this thing is coming up in the front because I want it to be nice and tall so you can see overhead. Well, shoot. Okay. And let's put a bigger top on it. Alright, it's a little buggy. It's not snapping. It's not going on top. It's like it doesn't exist. So, what do I need to do? I can start construction of the, of the church. I'm just doing stone. I can start the construction of the church without the core because it didn't need it because I did a combination. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. And then now with this, can I do the wooden top? Got it. There. Okay. So I'm going to need to put a wooden top on later. Um, I hope I can do it. Construction site wooden keep. Yeah, it's... It's... I could... If I hit this bulldozer button, I think it's going to bulldoze the whole thing. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to let it finish. And then I'm going to alter it to be what I want. Uh, house is upgrading, right? Um, we're going to need even more. Okay, we're starting to stock up on clothes now. And we do have stock, a small amount of stock in the warehouse. This is good. This is good. And, man, that worked out well, didn't it? But uh, somebody with a more artistic eye than me might say, why didn't you put some decorations next to it? Like, say, one of these uh, decorative trees, maybe right here. You know? And, like in the front here, maybe put a decorative bush, you know, on this side. Can I, can I get in there? Yeah, a couple of decorative bushes right here. Kind of an entrance into the the meditation tree. I don't know, I don't know you know, I mean. Uh, and then the cypress is this pointy tree, which annoys me. I don't like I don't like formal plants. I like I like the 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 ragged natural looking plants. And so I don't yeah, I don't have I don't have a space for that. Road sign? Uh this is a pretty good intersection for a road sign, I think. Right there. Okay. And then a fence, maybe maybe it doesn't go there. What I want to do is I wanna keep them from falling off the hill here. So that all works. It would be like this. Yeah, I think it's enough. There we go. And if you walk up there, yeah, I don't know. Let's let's go a little bit further. Let's go a little bit further down. Did I actually stop you from walking on that road? Is that what I did? I might have. Nobody's walking here now. Oops. There. Okay. I mean, it looks good, even though if, even if you're not walking there. Yeah, probably because there's not enough room to walk here, so you just decide that you're going to go this way and around. 
Uh, so we're at 92 happiness because we have 12 villagers now that are lacking religion. All right, let's let's fix this this little problem. 41 of 41. Uh, let's edit this thing. And let's put on what is this? This is plus five capacity. Let's put on another core. And how do we want to do this? But that just looks weird because of the way it sits there on the hill. I'm not done. Alright. And then for you, let's go a little bit taller. Like so. That raises the villager capacity to 66. We're kind of putting it right here where it's in front of this. And we're kind of doing something like that, and we're doing something like this. Yeah. Yeah. That works. And then in this little triangle here, uh, round tower. The windows are on the top, so I can raise this up like so. Okay. You see what I'm doing? Uh, it needs to go a little bit higher. Don't screw it up. There, like this. Yeah, capacity is now going to be 74. Am I done yet? I don't know if I'm done yet or not. Because I like this. I don't like the end here. I don't know. I mean, you know. It. Alright, this is cheesy. Just just let me finish it. And then we'll... We'll, we'll think about it. It's... I mean, I don't think that looks so bad. It doesn't block the road. Might need to go a little bit higher. That doesn't block anybody's view. How about if you go higher? No, I didn't want to do that, did I? Did I? You can see over. You're fine. That's fine. What do you think? The church complex? A uh, courtyard in the middle? We'll pretend anyway. And then, uh, what about another... I need you to go inside more. What does that look like? Uh, that looks, uh, that's believable, I think. You've got a little window over there. People can still walk by it. Okay. Uh, villager capacity 80. You know it. Yep, I'm doing it. What do we need? 147 stone, 20 planks, 71 tools. Uh, we're keeping the red, and I'm gonna say go ahead and start construction and high prioritize this so that it gets done. The church is still usable. People are going in and out. Okay, what do we got over here? Is this sucker done? This is done. Check it out. Uh, capacity is 0 of 51. Nobody wants to go to church over here. You know why? There's no door. Uh, if I put a door on this bad boy... Um, I think they're two different... Let me edit this. Let's put a top on. Top A. Snap, please. I see it turn. There we go. That's what we're talking about. All right, and what do we got as far as Splendor goes? We've got uh, only seven Splendors, so that's where we're going to put a bunch of these cores in, and we're just going to kind of hide them back here. Um, you know, fort-like. And what do we got? We're going uh, plus 14. What do I need? I need plus 40. Good grief. We're going. This is going to be how we get all the splendor that we need. Splendorific. And I'm going back in here now. And we're going to take out... I'm going to leave that oak tree. Uh, we'll put you in here just so that tree stays. And this is a, this is an ammunition dump. It's a fort slash ammunition dump. And of course, they meant it out of wood because uh, yeah, wood's not flammable. There. That's what you call a monstrosity. And that's just going to be what it is. And decorative flag. Start construction. 
And you're not high priority. Wow, that went up quick. Look at that. What's the capacity of this thing? The villager capacity is already 80. Happiness is two villagers are lacking homes now. And that's easier to deal with. Soldiers is what I need now. Because... Oh, I, I have enough too. Let's do that. Um, while we're waiting... Uh, at my first little, uh, little fort here. Let's assign some soldiers. Uh, let's see, zero of ten assigned. Let's do... I forget how many they want. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do five soldiers, okay? And... Uh, they should show up... I don't know what... That's a long way around. Oh, you're you're one of the ones that lives in your chimney, aren't you? <laughs> I think so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's okay. Um, yeah, this little fence worked out quite well, I think. Uh, okay, you're requesting an audience. Hey, dude. Um, you're standing next to the well. War is coming. We are prepared and will... Actually, we are not that prepared and would be happy to have some helping hands, ideally with swords or axes. How about sending some of your troops to our aid? How many do you want? Send five soldiers to somewhere. The reward is a thousand bucks, 20 little green men, plus 10 kingdom splendor, and one free territory. So now I'm just saying... Uh, did I have any soldiers show up yet? They haven't even trained. There they are. My first soldiers have shown up, and already I'm gonna send the suckers off to battle. Yep. Open mission setup. Here we go. Menu mission window. So, one, let's see, you are gonna go, and you're gonna go, and you're gonna go, and you're gonna go, and you're gonna go. I'll let you get a little more practice in. That looks like enough. Bye-bye. You talk to the envoy, you all group up. And then away you go. Uh, that's unexpected. I didn't expect you to go this way. All right, which way are you going? Which, uh, which, you gonna take the bridge? Oh, that's cool. You can take a boat, no? You can take a bridge. Hey, where'd the envoy go? He, 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 went, he whipped out. He went and stopped and got a hot dog or something. And he's gone. You guys are taking a bridge. Very cool. Alright, and then, uh, yeah, you're gonna come up here. And you're making the path as we speak. Are we even close? No, you're... Oh, wow. So, you're out and over here, and now you're gonna walk the whole length of the map. There we go. Nice picture with the village in the distance. There's my soldiers heading off to wherever it is they head off to. All right, let's let's fly back. Uh, there we go. Two new villagers are joining. Yes, and we still have too many unemployed. I know, but the church is finished. So here's what I'm doing. All right, now look. This bell definitely looks so. So I just noticed it took me a while that this tower, you know, doesn't have any. All right doesn't have the stucco look. It's got just the... It doesn't even have the red roof look. So... Do I dare delete this thing? If I right-click on this, it's, it's gonna be deleted. I did it. And let's take the small tower. Yeah, this... This is not the same look. Get up there. Right. I actually want it to butt up against this. But if I do that, then... Yeah, there's the... Oh, those bricks... Well, those bricks should be the same color, I think. Right? And then, I think the solution is, is to take another arch. And then maybe it looks rather arch-like, but, uh, so what? Yeah, so what? The tree hides the the tree hides the details. Alright. 
Yeah, I'm fine with that. Start. Uh, as far as looks go, let's see. The plant arch? I mean, that's, you know, it looks... This is the, uh, Church of the Abundant Fish. The plant arch is interesting, you know? It's like, I want something here. And there's really no way to put anything here. You know, in the middle. Except to put something like, you know, like this arch here. But uh, I can't do that now because I already started building. Okay. So how's this doing? This is doing quite well. They're building it. Soldiers are back from the mission. There they are. Hey, hey, here we go. A thousand gold, uh, which we just lost. Uh, ten of the kingdom influence and one free territory. Fine. Give me, give me the territory. Where do we want it? Where do we want the territory at? Uh, do we want to go across the river just to get rid of some of these slivers? Um, we already own that one. We could own this one. It's free. We'll take that one. Uh, let's, let's see, can we be creative with the bridge? Can we do something creative with the bridge? Like, for instance... Um... Uh, let's get you... Let's pick you up and put you over here. Okay, so we're like a viaduct. Uh, let's see, what can I... It's not control. Is it shift? Aha! It's shift! Perfect. You know? And then... That's that's interesting because then we could actually... You know, why did I expect you to show up? Keeping it all... Okay, so now that gives us a alternate route to this place by going over this bridge. And it just adds a little... It just adds something. You know what I'm saying? It adds something. I don't know what it adds. But it's definitely something. Now I can twist this over here like so, so it kind of angles over. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. But it makes this place more reachable. And that costs uh, 944 stone. And you know what? I am happy to be a part of that stone usage. My workplace is full. Sheep. Oh, there it is. There it is. Look at the scroll of stuffs. Uh, so it's done. This is now done, which means, look at this. We can unlock the hunter's hut. Uh, coming soon. The big keep. Big tower. Big something. And we can unlock the weaponsmith. I didn't realize I didn't need to. Okay, well. We had to get the 40 Splendor to unlock everything. So I believe we have unlocked the game. And now it's just a manor. Not a manor. A Lord Manor. No, now it's just a matter of me building everything. Uh, the Hunter's Hut is here. Yep. And the Weaponsmith is here. Everything's here. And right. Now, get a nice, a nice view here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. If I tilt a little bit this way, we can see the fort off in the distance. Uh, our village is starting to look like a village. And I should point out, I never claimed to be a city planner. <laughs> but uh, this is looking pretty good. And I like my church. This is probably the best monument I have built since I've been playing this game. It's just not something I'm that good at. But, uh, yeah. Uh, this, this one looks pretty good. And so there you go. Uh, next time out, uh, we've got lots to build still. Now that we've unlocked everything, we've got to build the monastery. We've got to get the hunter's hut going. Uh, all kind of stuff. So that'll have to be next time, though. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you later.